Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So earlier this year, back in early January, I posted a video that more Linux could be coming to Windows 11. And that's because code had been spotted, which was a hidden feature back then, suggesting that Microsoft is in the early stages of introducing native support for the sudo command line in Windows 11. And as I mentioned on the channel, some of these hidden features eventually start rolling out for official testing. And that's exactly what's happened in this case. And I'll leave that video down below um, if you would like to play catch up. So um, the latest Canary and Dev Channel build 26052 now introduces sudo for Windows, which is the Linux command, which is now available for Microsoft Windows in the latest uh, Canary Channel and Dev Channel build 26052. Now, basically, um, just a bit of a brief background on sudo. Um, the sudo command stands for super user do. So obviously sudo is short for super user do. And basically sudo for Windows is basically a convenient way for you to elevate a command now in Windows without having to open a new elevated console. And obviously that's the good old Linux sudo command line. As many of you will know, as I know, um, do use Linux on the channel who view this channel. And basically, to use this uh, new sudo command, what you need to do is you need to navigate in the Canary and Dev channel to your settings, which will be in the System for Developers page. You can see Enable sudo, and here's where you can actually toggle the feature on. Enable the sudo command. Now, this, as mentioned, is uh, in the uh, preview builds of Canary and Dev. And as I posted earlier today, the Canary and Dev channel now, um, according to Microsoft, is where Microsoft is testing features for our next annual feature update which will be windows 11 version 24 h2 so this is a good indication that the linux command the sudo for windows will be running out uh, rolling out um with the um 24h2 feature update later this year now how this is all going to work um, and how this can be configured microsoft says um the sudo command can be run in three different ways and if we head to the next screenshot provided first of all in a new window and a new window will open in which the elevated command will run and as you can see the next option is with input disabled so microsoft says the elevated command will run in line with its standard input closed in the window from which you've triggered elevation and they also mentioned you will not be able to interact with the elevated process and then the third option um how sudo runs applications is inline and the elevated command will run inline in the window from which you've triggered elevation this mode is most similar to the sudo experience on other platforms so um, if you are maybe a linux user and you are kind of moving between the two os's then i think this may be a nice move in the right direction where the sudo command which is the linux command line could be on its way in our 24h2 feature update which as mentioned will be rolling out later this year so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one